Greetings, and welcome back to Vampire. My name is Patchable, and we have stuff to do. So we're going to do that stuff. Well, I can't remember what I was doing. I can't remember now. I remember exactly what I was doing now. No, I didn't mean to press that button. Did, did someone hear me? Yep, there's a gunner. Can I, like, aerial drop on him? Can I? Please? There's no aerial drop button. Fine. Oh, this is the first time I've been using this axe. Oh, what the heck? No, go away. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Whoa. How about you take that, huh? No, oh, ow. Ow! Stop it. No. Stop. Uh, stop being a meanie. Take my axe. Ow! Asshole. Dead asshole. I am an all-powerful vampire. But I'm also a good guy, apparently. Oh, things. Shiny things. Oh, what does this say? Your king and country need you. Join the British ranks and help brave the brave lads at the front. Um, no. I'm a doctor. Would you like to know more? Guard the freedom of us all. Join the Royal Fleet today. Would you like to know more? Ask the nearest recruiting office. I, I would not like to know more. War kind of sounds like war. White X dead inside. So, um, is there a way to get... More and more of these bloody every night. Ah... ah. Can I go over there? Because I'm pretty sure we've been over there. You know what? Just in case, we're going to go over there anyway. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. No. 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 No, you cannot kill. You cannot. You can't touch us. Dan and and and. Dan dan. Dan. Can't touch us. Dan and and and. Dan dan. Dan. Can't touch us. Oh shit! He hit me. Now oh, it's getting up on me. Never mind. There's only one left. Of him. Anyway. Oh, there's two more. Great. That's that's brilliant. I don't want you. Go away. Go home. Go home. You would survive if you went home. Can I... Yep. Heal. Healing is good. Healing is good. Take that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what the fuck? He has a shotgun. Well, I knew that already. The wall. His name is Roger? Oh my gosh, he's a boss. He is a boss. Oh! Oh, ow. Ow! You butt face. Can I... Yeah, there we go. I can. I only just figured out how to do that, too. Ah, crap. Screw you! The wall. I want this. It's mine now. And you can take that. And also this. This. Take it. Yep. Maybe I can charge that. I think I, you think I can charge that? Ow! Uh, ow! Meanie? I'll take more of my own health. Ow! What? That couldn't have hit me. He was aiming the other way. That makes no sense. Well, I mean, I'm playing a game about teleporting vampires. Oh. No! I will not die. You will. Die in my stead. Thank you for dying. Oh, 
Um, yeah, I already heard you talk about that. I, d I haven't sneaker decked anyone. Is it this way? Is it up? It is up, isn't White it? Chapel. Yep, I made it. The neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Uh huh. Seems like a long way off, to be honest. Will I be able to get up there? What's this? A large box of pills. That's helpful. I, I think. Oh, also some shotgun shells. Would be helpful if I um, even had a shotgun. Oh, no, I do have a shotgun. I just don't use it. If I used a shotgun, that would be helpful. Wait, what the fuck? There's no one around here. Oh. Hello, sick person. Oh, no, you're dead. Benjamin. Oh. Oh, fuck. What just happened? The, wet boots will be proud of me. the fuck just happened? Are you all right? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I oh, thank God. To miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's you look Albert. funny. Remember it. He needs that, whatever that is. Do you need assistance, please? Feeling tired these days. Give him the medicine. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. The man you were looking for is dead. I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. Well, it was on a... Wow. You're being manipulated by these criminals. What's worse is that you're clever enough to know better. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. But you, you don't. I could mesmerize him. He's got a... No, it's not quite enough. Uh, your life in London. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. All right. Perhaps the poor drunk just confused you with someone else. Sod off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. No, you're the one who needs me to help you. I already helped it, you. Personal questions. Don't have any of those. Looking for Do nurse you know Crane. Nurse Dorothy Crane. If you know anything about her, I'd appreciate it. Never heard of her. She's pretty, I'll keep an eye out. Dick. Alright. Later, night. asshole. I won't end up another drunk arsehole littering the streets. Not me. What about you? Boy. What about you, eh? What? what about you? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do. You're shot. What? You saw what happened. I can't get Who a good angle. I'm Dr. Reed. There's no good angle. And I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. Oh, come on. No. Look, I, I'm oh, there we go. Man. That's an okay angle. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. Immediately ask if you can help. You don't seem well, Benjamin. <laughs> you I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. Same. I don't have a treatment for migraine. Crap. I will see you later. I'm looking for Dorothy. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migraines. Oh. How come that wasn't something? He's also a number one. Life in London. Tell me about your Perhaps troubles. You could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. Everything's coming up roses. 
Wait, that was a son that I was talking to before? What can you tell me about this place? Nothing. The fuck, say. man? You shot your son? Where I used to live, and it's where I live now. You have no family? You don't have anywhere to go. You just said you had a son. No family that would welcome you. Not since the death of my wife, Albert's mother. She was sick, you see. Long before the flu and all this shit. You mean you used to have a better you life? You mean you used to have a better life? Yeah, I had a wife, a home, and a job. I even used to have a name. And now I'm just Ben. Ben the Trap. Well, I mean, I could probably fix that with doing either of these two things. I mean, this one will probably kill you, and this one would probably get you back on your feet. So, uh, we'll do that, eh? We'll get you back on your feet. Alcohol. Terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Yes, uh, bye now. I don't like the word goodbye. It seems very permanent. Wait, are you Albert? You are Albert. Can I talk to you about you being you, his son? Your boy, all right? now piss off. Uh, personal questions. Uh, never mind then. Your life in London, I've already got all that shit. Goodbye, young man. Shut up, Albert. You have a horrible father, that's about it. Who are you? Who the fuck evening. is this? Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Swanborough? Really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Oh. She has a three. She is a... she's healthy. Uh, I'm looking for Crane. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane? I need a Crane Hospital. to lift me up. I'd like to know more about her. Out I of the like slump. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. Oh, I bet it is. I bet it is. It, it should be. Wait, hold on. Let's trade. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. Uh, what has she got? My multiple... Nah, alright. I'll talk to her again later. Has been proven by many. Yep. Even the flu is no match for the yeah, yeah, shut up, lady. I don't think she's telling the truth. <gasps> Here is the quest marker. Furthering the plot! No, open the door, please. Yeah, there we go. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. I'm Dr. Reed. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical field says the opposite. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. <laughs> Don't bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. Uh, thank you, Daria. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. I must insist, sir. Please let me see Nurse Crane. I have no time for you, sir. I'm not here for you, you... Yep, well, I mean, it makes sense. Investigate his actions. Like, through the window? Has he gone outside? Yep. I should stay hidden, right? There we go. It worked. Sorry, I didn't need to figure out how that worked again. Eavesdropping. <gasps> She's covered in blood. That's what I'm supposed to drink. At the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Mm hmm. Perhaps just a friend of that. 
stray poet who is always about. A poet? I need to meet the poet. No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Huh. Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Well, I'm tracking you from way downwind. Well, okay, so... I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. Nearby uh, the church, they just mentioned. Nearby the church. I'm guessing that's where the quest marker is, so... Off we go. Adventure! Oh, hello, people. Joe, please, I don't have your money. Come on, Barrett, you know the game. You pay for peace of mind. Can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? Come on, we can sort it out, right? It's not my call, Barrett. You pay one way or another. Please, Joe. How long have we known each other? We even used to be neighbours, for Christ's sake. I'd prefer not to give you another beating, Barrett. I need to talk to these Excuse guys. Me, sir. I have a few questions for you. Another journalist? I didn't no. the first one, so piss off. I'm not a journalist, I'm a doctor. A doctor, you say? It's quite a rare breed in this part of town. Really? Shut up, I'm also a vampire. But still, here I am. Dr. Jonathan Reed, at your service. I'm Joe Peterson, the son. A colossus joke at most. And I don't remember asking for your service, sir. Well, let's check his... He's pretty healthy. Which means that he's... Oh! The fact that he's healthy kind of means that he's been going to these other other doctors. Um, uh, Personal questions. Don't have any. Life in London. But the lack of doctors. According to you, physicians are scarce in this part of town. Why is that? Not familiar with this neighborhood, are you? I guess your fancy colleagues are too afraid of being stabbed in the back. This part of town does have quite a reputation. Would you say it's justified? Totally. Look at me, for instance. I always look my opponent in the eye before knocking him out. Ah, I see. What are you doing around here? I ask what you do around here. I'll do whatever I want, and sometimes even more. Now sod off. Right, that's uh, good enough for me. Goodbye, Mr. Peterson. I found Dorothy Crane, so. Oh, is this where I need to be? Hello, Mr. Churchman. Forgive my interruption. Do not apologize, my son. <laughs> Father Tobias Whitaker is always happy to teach mortals about the incoming Armageddon. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. And I just have a few questions. A scientist? You are much more lost than I thought, my son. But priests used to be scientists. Oh, wow. I need a lot to memorize him. Alright, uh... Personal questions? Have you any friends? Any family left in these terrible times? No. But I have a disciple I see as my son. He is so devoted. That sounds creepy. I send him to preach the good word in the heart of this corrupted city. You're kind of creepy, dude. Where did you send Where him, did dude? You send him? You... I sent Samuel to the Stonebridge Cemetery. Oh, where no. The pestilence and evil grows night after night. Shit. That is not good. You should not have done that. You sent him on some preaching crusade during the epidemic. As a true believer, Samuel will fear no evil while he walks Why you go? the valley of the shadow of death. You wanted that shit done, you go yourself. You... Uh, I'm left in London. Am I more lost than you what thought? You huh? Say that I am more lost than you thought. All oh. scientists are entangled in a world of causes and consequences. Mm -hmm. Most of them can't see the plain truth. Quite a judgmental opinion, if you ask me. But what do I know? Blinded by science as I am. But you are seeking answers, aren't you? Answers about the Armageddon about to strike the city. 
answers about the hidden truth. I'm listening. Well, I suppose I can spare a few minutes listening to your so-called truth. Stop moving. Doctor, you must be aware of a decimating epidemic. But let me tell you that this so-called Spanish flu is just the beginning <laughs> of the end. What do you mean? The beast is finally revealing itself. Ah. Corrupting the flesh and the heart of men. With my own eyes I have seen them. Those minions from the abyss. So he knows. What's your plan? Really? And what would be your answer to this biblical threat? We must fight the disease <coughs> before this legion outnumbers us. But not with scalpels and microscopes. No. What is left then? Cleansing fire. Flamethrowers. How exactly will you cleanse the city? Tell me, Tobias. What exactly is your plan concerning the cleansing of this city? God will recognize his own. More than once this city has risen from the ashes, hardened and purified by the flames. Man, this guy is going to kill everyone. Purification by fire has proved useful. But where do you stop? Burn the clothes? The buildings? The corpses? Worse? Your lack of faith is predictable. But my task is to convince rational minds like yours to see the light. This is God's will. You're mad and dangerous. You're nothing but a soulless butcher. Yeah. A small time talking harder. The Savonarola of Whitechapel. My son, if you think salvation is a free gift, go listen to the lies of that pompous fool, Joseph. Joseph, a fool. Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary's Church. While he continues preaching his fraudulent redemption, more and more people die in the streets. Hmm. Okay. Well. Oh, I'm done talking to you. For tonight. Goodbye. I've got five minutes to find a way to... Like a safe zone or some shit. Find Clayton in the area. Clayton's gotta be here somewhere. Are you Clayton? Who are you? Excuse me, sir. Are yep. you familiar Found him. with this part of town? Name's Clayton Darby, reporter. Sorry, I'm new to Whitechapel. But perhaps you could help me since you're a journalist. My name is Jonathan Reed. Dr. Reed, the famous surgeon. I'll gladly help if I'm able, sir. About an underground medical dispensary. I heard you're investigating an underground medical dispensary in Whitechapel. What do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. They are weary of strangers, and I'm not really an acquaintance of theirs. Why do you care? A nurse I know is compromised. I'm afraid one of the nurses from the Pembroke Hospital may be involved with unsavory activities. Ah, could it be Dorothy Crane? Without a doubt, ah. you are a damn fine journalist, Mr. Ooh. What do you I agree. know of her accomplice, a man named Darius? I don't know much about the man. He's very cautious, never goes out, doesn't seem to have any friends or family. Not many people do. He never goes out. No. Not in this town. Ago, he unexpectedly did. I followed him, but it was just a ruse to keep me away from his house. Really? How do you know? He went to the nearest mailbox, but just before posting his letter, he ripped it up and threw it away. Wow. No relatives then? He has no relatives at all? No. Except for that strange man, a poet named Richard Nithercott who sometimes comes by. Darius would never let him in. Where can I find this Mr. Nithercott? He spends most of his time lurking around Whitechapel, talking to himself or declaring verses. These days, you can usually find him behind the church. All right, all right, cool. Thanks for the info. Goodbye, Mr. Darby. Farewell. I could probably get a lot more info out of him, but I'm running out of time, so... Find Richard Nithercott. That's Tobias. That's the guy that was crazy and wants to kill everyone. Behind the church. Man, this church is huge. Who are you? I don't know. I have no clue. Who's in here? It's locked. Fuck. Really? Is there any other way in? Like, at all? No? Shit. Really? 
Do I have to go in the church? Don't tell me I have to go in the church. Good. Because there are crosses in the church and they might actually do something bad. Flower bouquet. A small bouquet with a flower for a free medical checkup between the flowers. Okay. You know something. Yes. I'm Dr. Reed. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I know what you're thinking. A tall stranger who meets a girl in the street at night. It reeks of the penny dreadfuls. But I mean you no harm, truly. Um. Oh, wow, she's got a good health. I mean, good blood quality. But yeah. Melia, I know. Please, tell me about her secret dispensary. Out with it. Is she a mute? A stubborn and mute comrade. Nurse Crane and Darius Petrescu. Did they cut her a tongue or something? Or is she just... I know you understand what I'm She saying. just actually mute. Your silence has nothing to do with you being mute, does it? Hmm. Very well. Goodbye, then. Shit. Well, I'd need to know more, then. What are this one? Small back over? Yeah, that's the same shit. And this one. Hmm. Find the mailbox. Is this the mailbox? No. Oh, stuff to find. Oh, there it is. I found it. Awesome. My dearest, most beloved children, I'm so sorry that you have not heard from me in a few months. The situation in London has been difficult. I know it may sound selfish and silly when you, my children, are still living in a country consumed by war, but there is also war going on here in England. A war against poverty and against injustice. This is a war intended to fight but despite my advanced years. This is why I'm writing to you today. I won't be coming back to Romania. That probably means I won't see you again before I die. Don't be sad, my darlings. You are grown up now, and you have children of your own. You know the sacrifice we sometimes must accept to make the world a better place. This is one I must make now. To feel useful one more time, I wish you a long and happy life. Kiss my grandchildren for me, and remember that your father loves you all the way from this cold, damp country. I am as ever your loving father, Darius Petriscu. Why did he rip it up? The content of Darius' letter to his children could give me more leverage to enter. I mean, yeah, it could, but I don't want to be an asshole. Quarantine influence, keep out of this area. Right, okay. So there's like people that are sick inside the church. That makes sense. But why aren't they in the hospital being treated? Um, ah, well, I gotta end the episode really soon, so if I don't find anywhere to hide out, then, uh, what about up there? No? Let me in. I need to go to sleep. I'm Dr. Reed, and I would like to ask you a few questions. May I enter, please? Sorry, no, sir. My father does not like people entering our house, you see. Let me in. Your father is worried about you, boy. He asked me to look for you. So my father actually worries about me, then? Okay. Come on, then. This is interesting. I'm Harry, by the way. Is there only pain and suffering in this world? Hi. So. Yeah. May I ask you a few questions? I'm not bothered. What could be worse? Do you need any medical help, young man? Yes, I do. I feel so tired. I don't know if it's the epidemic, but everything seems so hard. Damn it, I don't have it. I will see you later. Shouldn't have given it to that fucking asshole of a kid. I should have given it to this guy. He's, he's better than him. Not happy to live in Whitechapel? Forgive my bluntness, young man. But you don't seem happy living in Whitechapel. Why should I? 
I never wanted to come here in the first place. It was my father's decision. Look around you. Does this look like a nice place to live? No, no, it does not. You have a roof over your head, a place to call home. Many people here are not as lucky, you know. That's exactly what my father says. Harry, you should be grateful for what you've got. But I wasn't even consulted when we moved here. Why don't you just leave this place? If life here is so terrible for you, why don't you just leave this place? Have you ever spoken to your father about it? I, I don't go outside. It terrifies me so. I went outside once without my father noticing and I saw terrible things. Oh. Bloody and frightening things. He's seen so the dark side. at home all day. For fear of the epidemic. I'm not afraid of disease or death, Dr. Reed. It's the living I'm afraid of. Oh, I see. Alright, that's enough. Goodbye, young man. Take care of yourself. I like him. I need to heal him. Mm. Um, do you guys have a mixing table I could use to like maybe make some stuff up for you? Maybe just just just, just the one. Oh, what's that? Oh, damn it. Dear Mr. Peterson, it is my duty to inform you of your our refusal to accept your application for a job at the dockyard. I must thank you for the time you spent in our office explaining the difficulty of, you, difficulty of your situation with your ill boy and the loss of your beloved wife. But it is also my duty to point out the policy of our company, which expressly re reproves the employment of former criminals or convicts. Your unfortunate con connections to the ill-famed wet boot boys have been duly noted. These are hard times, sir, and Finch and Harper intend to reward first the candidates who pass the small inquiry we like to conduct about our future employees. You have our deepest sympath sympathy, and may God be with you and your family. Sincerely, Artie Harper. Well, that sucks. He couldn't find a job because of his past. Professional vampire hunters. Yeah, I don't want to read that. Can I sleep in this bed, please? I just need a save. Damn it. Nothing. Alright, well, I'm gonna end it in this room with this guy. Alright. So, thanks everybody for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Toodles! Well, that was fun. <laughs>